League of Legends, 10 champions who are like Naruto characters. With over 150 playable League of Legends champions, there are definitely some who resemble certain Naruto characters in skill or personality. The video game landscape is filled with immensely popular and successful games, but very few games have managed to achieve the level of ongoing success that League of Legends has. League first launched in 2009, and it has since gone on to become one of the most played games in the world, with millions of people playing it daily. The game started with just 17 champions. But the roster has since increased to more than 150. Every single one of these champions has a specific role to fill, and they all have unique abilities that either make them extremely dangerous or helpful. Naruto is one of the most successful anime franchises in history, and believe it or not, several of the series' characters share certain traits with a few of League's champions. 10. Janna is a master wind user like Temari. Janna is one of League's better supports, and she is capable of creating powerful wind gusts that can knock up enemy champions. She is actually a wind spirit who protects the region of Zon. And she can also use her wind abilities to shield and heal her allies. Temari is one of the only hidden sand ninja who can realistically become the Kazakage, and that is because she is one of the strongest wind style users in Naruto. Like Janna, Temari can produce powerful wind gusts that can displace and even kill her opponents. 9. Nunu will lump our partners, just like Kiba Akamaru. Nunu tried to slay a fearsome monster to prove that he was a hero, but when he found Will Lump, he discovered that the magical yeti was a lonely, playful creature who wanted a friend. The two bonded over their love of snowballs, and they have since become an inseparable duo who dominate the jungle with their ice powers. Kiba has his fair share of weaknesses, but he also has a few strengths, and his greatest strength is his bond with his ninja dog, Akamaru. Like Nunu and Will Lump, Kiba and Akamaru work in tandem to take on enemies. And they both show that humans and beasts can work well together. 8. Yasuo Sasuke are both rogues who had brother issues. Yasuo is one of League's most popular champions, but he is also one of the most hated because of his dashes and wind wall. He is a native of Ionia, and he was forced to kill his older brother after he was falsely accused of killing their master. Sasuke's corruption could have been avoided in numerous ways. But at the end of the day, he became a hunted rogue just like Yasuo. They are both master swordsmen, and they both share brotherly baggage since Sasuke's initial goal was to kill his older brother to avenge his clan. 7. Katarina's teleportation ability is similar to Minato's. Katarina is the daughter of one of Noxus' most decorated generals, but she also happens to be one of the Empire's most gifted assassins. She wields a pair of long daggers, and when she throws one of them, she can use her Shunpa ability to instantly teleport to its location. Minato is Naruto's father, and he is arguably the fastest ninja in history. His body flicker technique is almost identical to Katarina's Shunpa, as he can instantly teleport to any of the many kunai he throws across the entire battlefield. 6. Swain Danzo augmented their bodies to take control of their homes. Noxius is an empire that only values strength, and Swain serves as its visionary leader. He was severely injured during the Ionian Wars. But he managed to seize control of the empire and he replaced his severed left arm with a demonic hand. Danzo's only priority was the protection of the leaf village, but he did so from the shadows. Which resulted in him doing some nefarious things. Like Swain, Danzo replaced his bad arm with a new one, except his was covered with surgically implanted Sharingan, and he almost managed to take control of the leaf village with that arm. 5. Wukong Enma are essentially the same character. The Vastaya are a race of chimeras, and Wukong is a tall monkey who uses tricks to confuse his opponents. 
Wukong is incredibly strong. Fast, and intelligent, and he wields an enchanted staff that can extend. He also has the ability to briefly turn invisible. In Naruto, many ninja are able to summon powerful creatures. And Monkey King Enma was the personal summon of the third Hokage. Enma and Wukong are basically the same, as they are both strong monkeys who are modeled after the mythical Chinese Monkey King. Enma may not wield an extendable staff, but he can transform into one. 4. Master E. Mifune are both master swordsmen. A lot of players despise Master E because he can literally carry an entire team if he gets enough early game kills. He is a master of the Ionian art known as Wuju. Which is why his sword strikes are so fast and precise, and it is also the reason why he cannot be targeted when he attacks. Naruto may have focused on ninja, but the series had samurai as well. And Mifun served as their general. Like E, Maifine is a master swordsman, but he mastered a style called Aedo, which involves rapidly unsheathing a sword, slashing with it, and resheathing it. Like Yi's Wuju style, Mifun's technique allows him to cover distance very quickly. 3. Lee Sin Rock Lee are both expert martial artists. Naruto is filled with underdog characters who manage to prove everyone wrong, and Rock Lee was one of the biggest underdogs due to the fact that he could not use ninjutsu or genjutsu. He decided to focus entirely on taijutsu, which is why he has become one of the strongest martial artists in the series. Lee Sin is blind, and like Rock Lee, no one expected much from him in terms of combat. But he managed to master Ionia's martial arts. Lee Sin managed to turn his disability into an asset, and he can now channel the essence of a dragon spirit to help him dominate in the jungle. 2. Azir Gara are both leaders who can manipulate sand. Gara is one of the most defensive characters in Naruto, and that is because he is constantly protected by a sand shield that moves on its own. In terms of offense, he can control and manipulate large quantities of sand, and this ability is so strong that he was able to become the sand village's Kazakage. Shurima is a region filled with sand. And Azir served as emperor centuries ago before he became an ascended being. Like Gara, Azir led his people to a time of prosperity, and he can manipulate sand to create soldiers who can both attack and defend. 1. Jin Daidara are both obsessed with art. The Akatsuki only recruits the best, which is why they recruited Daidara to be their explosives expert. Daidara possesses explosive chakra. And he adds that chakra to the clay creatures he molds with the mouths in his palms. These clay creations produce very powerful and destructive explosions, and Daidara views these explosions as a form of art. Jin was once an Ionian prisoner, and he uses his gun to create his own form of art. He considers brutality to be the epitome of art, and he compares the gruesome scenes he creates to the theater. <laughs>